So, now let us begin with the problem where we have utility function as x plus 2 y. Okay. This is the utility function. What I am saying that this problem is from a too good world. Okay. So, on x axis the quantity of first good is given in x and quantity of second good in y. Okay. The idea is to maximize this utility, maximize this utility such that x plus y is equal to 10. So, this is the problem in, in the mathematical way. Let us go in the opposite direction and let us get the economic problem out of it. Okay. One way is to typically what would happen that in life you get an economic problem and you will translate it, it into a mathematical problem. But here we are going in the opposite in the opposite direction, so you would understand how it was done. And also we should add that x is greater than or equal to 0 and y is greater than or equal to 0. We are going to solve this problem using 2, 3 techniques, but let us say what does it mean that a person lives in a too good world and good one can be let us say for example, good one can be T does not matter what you take and good 2 is cola. Amount of T is given in given as x and amount of cola is given as y. Okay. And this person what he cares about is his consumption in, in this particular fashion that twice of cola plus T, twice of cola plus T. You can simply say that he is willing to exchange one unit of cola for two unit of tea or two units of tea for one unit of cola. So, individual interest, individual valuation is same at all the point and what is this value? That one unit of good one is equivalent to half unit of good 2 okay. or you can say 2 units of good 1 that is of course, good 1 is T and it is equivalent to 1 unit of cola. What it is saying that when you go to canteen or somewhere or at you know one of your when you visit or a, what you want is either 2 cups of tea or 1 cola. Okay. It can be 2 cups or 3 does not matter, we are not talking in terms of cups, but I am just saying to understand that you are indifferent between 2 cups of tea and 1 glass of cola, if we measure tea in cups and cola in glass. Okay. That is what we have here. Fine. And this is your own exchange rate. Now, let us say that what we have from the market, market we have x plus y is equal to 10. So, what we are saying basically typical our budget curve is p x x plus p y y is equal to i. So, in this sense 10 is nothing but income, p y is equal to 1 and p x is equal to 1. So, in market basically you can exchange 1 cup of tea for 1 glass of cola, that is what you can do in the market. Fine. But now let us look at your, your own, this is the market's valuation and this is your individual valuation. Now, in market if you give up 1 cup of tea, you will get 1 glass of cola in lieu of that cup of tea. Now, what is happening? What you have in your mind? That 1 unit of cola is equivalent to 2 units of tea. Fine. So, 1 cup if we compare it with market, in your mind valuation of cola is higher than the valuation of cola in the market. So, what you will do? You will consume more of cola 
rather than more of t and you will continue doing that. But here let us say earlier remember we talked about diminishing marginal rate of substitution that is not true here, it is not decreasing. Again I am going to come back and talk about marginal rate of substitution in little bit more detail, but this is not true here. It, the ratio for yourself is same at all the point and exchange rate for T and cola is also the same in the market, it is not changing and your valuation in your own valuation you value more than cola in comparison to what market the, the market valuation of cola. So, what is the best idea for you? If if you have a bundle where you have T and cola both, you should give up T and get more of cola, keep getting more of cola and till when you can do that, till you have no T left to exchange it for cola. So, in this case you will consume only cola, no T. Now, let us look at it, this is logically speaking, let us look at it using a table. Okay? What we have here, let us say here we have T, here we have cola and here we have total utility. When we have one unit of T, okay, how many cola we can have? 9, why? Because one unit of T is costing 1 unit, 1 rupee we can say, we can say everything is in rupee. So, it is costing 1 rupee. So, we have 9 rupees left and the price of cola, one glass of cola is 1 rupee. Of course, this is all made up and imaginary, does not matter, it does not match with the market, but the idea here is to learn the concept. So, in 9 rupees you can afford 9 glasses of cola. So, here you have 9 and what will be your utility? It 9 multiplied by 2 because what we have utility is equal to x plus 2y. So, 9 multiplied by 2 18 and 1 19. Let us look at here if we have 0 units of t, it means we have 10 rupees that we can spend on cola. So, how many cola we can get? 10 colas, 10 and total utility is 20. Why? Because 0 plus 2 multiplied by amount of cola and that is 20. And similarly, we can do that. Let us say if we increase the amount of T, what would happen? Of course, we will have to decrease the amount of cola. And it is if we are increasing it by 1 unit, cola is decreasing by 1 unit. If we increasing T again by 1 unit, cola is again decreasing by 1 unit. Why? Because market exchange rate is rate for T and cola is fixed, it is 1 is 1 is to 1. So, it will happen in this fashion and what is going to be the utility here? 18 and let us do it for one more from 2 to 3, from 8 we will have to decrease it by again 1 unit and it is going to be 17 and if we keep on doing this, let us say now we have 10 units of T then of course, we will have 0 units of cola and what we will get? 10 units of utility and we have we want here to maximize our utility. Okay. So, which bundle should we pick? 0 comma 10, this is the bundle that we should be selecting. Why? Because 0 comma 10 bundle leads to maximum possible utility. 